So, uh, got into it, mixed up there with Scott Nickel. What exactly was going on with that? Okay, just, uh, you know, just playing hard, playing to the whistle, and you know, just, stuff like that happens. So, just prepare yourself and be ready. A lot of penalties at the end of this game, but you know, for both teams, but particularly San Jose. Do you think that they were, they were kind of just trying yeah, to frustrated? I think you know, with how things went, but uh, you know, give us credit. I think we came out and and played really well, and you know, we finally got a few breaks in the series, which which definitely helped. And uh, you know, hopefully, we can carry over this momentum now. Did you guys at all expect the first ten minutes of the game to go like that? You know, it hasn't hasn't been like that all series for us. So it was nice to see, you know, you know where we took it to them uh, in the play, and also we converted on on our, on our chances, which we haven't really done all all uh, series. So that was that was good to see, and hopefully we can uh, we can keep going. How do you guys carry this momentum over into Game Five? Uh, just you know, come out the same way. Uh, you know, watch a little video, learn learn from the th- good things we did, and uh, and build off that, and uh, you know, get, get ready for the next game. Take it one game at a time. Frustrating part is if he was given the green light just to be an offensive player, he'd have 120 points each and every night. Um, but he pays a lot of respect up to the defensive zone, and uh, he's playing against him, and he's, he's tough to go against. And we're going to need efforts like that uh, uh, from him every night. You might have already been asked this, but just talk about your line in general 13 points total. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, it was just one of those nights. Um, everything mule shot went in, and uh, it was uh, it was fun, but uh, nights are over, and we got to get ourselves ready for uh, the next one. Todd, does this maybe open the floodgates for this team? I hope so. I think, uh, like I said earlier, get some more guys with some confidence, being to put the puck in the net, and, uh, and get uh, all four of our lines going. And if we have that, uh, I like our chances. How do you think a guy like Nabokov responds after giving up the five and getting yanked? Well, he's a big-time goaltender. Uh, he's been in a, a lot of those situations before, so we expect him to, uh, to be ready. So um, we're just going to have to do exactly what we did tonight. Todd, did you know that you got the first one? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but did Homer beg for uh, as, as it was going on and he got the, uh, the fourth, I was like, Jesus, they announced it, man. I might get booed out of here. So. <laughs> I was a little reluctant to take it. But, uh, yeah, just standing in front of that, he ended up hitting me. But... Goals are goals. Who cares? We got some. You think you might have San Jose is known as a team that has had some playoff problems in the past. Win, big win. Do you think you plant a little bit, seed of doubt maybe uh, on that side? You know what? We're not. We're not even worried about how they're thinking or what they're doing. We're just worried about ourselves and and what it's going to take to uh, get ourselves back in this. So we're more focused on that. How about running the Baca out of the game? I mean, it's got to be a good feeling to know that they're goalie. I struggled so bad that you know. Yeah. Well, I just think it was just accumulation of a lot of things, a lot of a lot of shots and a lot of traffic, and uh, we were really snapping the puck around tonight, and we had some really good looks. Nice job tonight. Just talk about how much you did not want this series to end tonight. Was that talk about how much you did not want this series to end tonight? Well, uh, <laughs> how much? Uh, I didn't want to. I'm not for sure. I especially, don't want to get swept. Uh, you want to show your home fans that. It's been a while since we won at home, I think, so uh, we wanted to put up a good game for, for them as well. So uh, uh, it was a big game. We, talk, we can only see one uh, game ahead all the time. We, we won this one, and uh, we got to win the next one. For you personally, I mean, what's it like you know, scoring four goals in the game? Uh, <coughs> uh, well, it's different now. We're down 3 nothing, so... Uh, we focus on this turn to win, win, win this game, and then win the next, the next one. So, can't get too excited. It's hard for me. Did you see your confidence had been wavering a little bit before the game? Yeah, goal scoring wise, yeah. Uh, haven't seemed to be able to put the puck in the net now. So, pr- hopefully this can help me. Yeah. Had you been pressing at all before tonight? Pressing? Yeah. Stop. Just trying to do everything perfectly instead of just playing. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't think so. I hope not. Did you, did you feel different at that time? Or did you take shots or do things that you hadn't done before? <sighs> I don't know if I did anything different or the puck just seemed to, to come right out of my stick, so I don't know. Uh, desperate team we had to be, and I thought we came out with a good push. And, uh, you all got hot to, at the right moment, scored some, some goals for us, but I thought the whole team really responded well, came out with and did what we, what we had to do tonight. What was it with the mule? Why do you think he got hot? Uh, no, he's got a great shot, and if you, if you give him a little bit of time, 
like tonight or when he's driving to the net, the puck's coming to him. He's he gets hot in a in a hurry, and that's really what happened tonight. Talk Obviously, about the chippiness the, at the end of the game. Does that carry over into the next one? Uh, I think the games are, are too important. I think the, the the game got out of hand. The scoring got out of hand. I think that they got a little frustrated, but it's. Things like that happens when when you're in, in the playoffs and you get up or you get down by a, by a few goals. You know things like that happens. I, I don't expect that to carry over into the next game. This is a one step, obviously, right? Just talk about how how much can this carry over? How much do you think this stings them or puts them back on their heels if at all? Uh, you know, I'm sure they feel comfortable going home and, and playing in, in their home rink. So we know uh, our team has to come out with that same desperation again, whether it's on the road and and you're kind of in a hostile environment. You have to come out with a good good push again and uh, play real well defensively and you know, like I said we did what we had to do tonight but we got to go into San Jose and do the same thing again. Nick this is the second time you guys have had your backs against the wall in these playoffs and you've outscored your opponents 13 to 2. Is that just, uh, can you attribute that to the experience in the room? Or? I, I think the more the desperation that we showed tonight especially early on especially in the first period I thought the two our, our first two lines got really hot they were playing well they spent a lot of time in the offensive zone and uh, and Mule got hot. Mule had some saw this, the pucks coming to him, and he's, he's shooting at the right moments and finding the corner. So it was great to see Mule step up the way he did. Is that confidence with him sometimes, Nick? Like, he has the confidence in more than that. It seems like he really gets rolling like that. Yeah, and I think uh, when his shot is, is on the way it is, too, he can really shoot that puck. His snapshot is one of the best, and it's so quick and accurate. So when he he hits that the, the corners or the spot where he's aiming. He's, he's usually successful too, and that's that's what happened tonight in a couple of the goals. You know, Nick overlooked a little bit is the fact that Pavelski was kept pretty much in check. Did you do, guys, did you do anything specifically to try to you know, minimize what he could do offensively? I, I think the whole team did a good job of, of closing the gap in the neutral zone, not giving them a lot of time and space for the puck, and, and not giving them the the speed that they have up front. So I think the, the forwards did a good job, and the D was standing up. The blue line is just doing a good job against them. Nick, the physicality in the third period, did that something you could carry over, or was it just frustration on their part? I, I think it's more frustration. Uh, I, I think that's the score got, got, got out of hand. I think that's why that, that happened. And, you know, things like that happen sometimes in the playoffs. It's nice that he, that he got a... Uh, He's got four tonight, so it's, uh, uh, you know, hopefully you can keep going. Does that feel like you guys were unleashing uh, some tension, some anger tonight after maybe undeservedly being down 3 nothing in the series? Well, we, we wanted to, to give us a chance. We wanted to, uh, uh, to play a good game and, 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 and get a win. You know, that's what we did. And uh, uh, now we're just going uh, you know, to travel tomorrow and, and uh, we're going to have, a, uh, you know, a good game five. Do you think they were trying to set a tone there in the third period, or the physicality of that period, trying to send a message or something? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it was that that much more than 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 other games. It's it's usually how it goes when uh, when one team are are down a little bit. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think he had a one one plus four tonight, and and uh, you know he's doing a lot of a lot of work for you know. I've been playing with him the whole playoffs, and and. And you know, played a lot of in the regular yes. season. And he doesn't get enough credit. He uh, he is he's, uh, he's a hard worker. He uh, always in front of the net, and uh, you know, really, you know, keeping the guys away from uh, f from us other guys. So he, he is. Uh, uh, it's fun to play with him, and uh, you know it's it's nice to see that he get rewarded like that. What does it mean for the team if Stewart can't play on Saturday? Of course, we're uh, it's one deal less, and and you know Stewie's been a huge part of this team, and, and uh, but he uh, you know he he's a fighter, and, and uh, I don't think it was that bad. So um, I'm pretty sure we're gonna play. Did you guys feel like Johan had a game like that in him that was? Getting closer and closer. Is yeah. that was it even yeah. startling to you? I don't know. It's it's tough to say. I mean, it's nice to see that he get. I think he got four goals in four shots, and and, and uh, <laughs> um, you know that's that's always nice to uh, to get and 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 you know uh, get him get him going. You know we, we need him to uh, to score goals and, and uh, uh, you know he started good tonight. After you watch him start like that, do you maybe go over and think about taking one of his sticks off the rack? <laughs> you know, he uses my stick, so it's, uh, <laughs> it's not a way around. <laughs>